We're at the Red Cross building. We are going to be um, issuing now some food for the uh, people in the um, homeless victims who uh, have no food to eat from the hurricane. And so that's what we're doing now. We're loading the vans up with the food. George Bush doesn't care about black people. is completely overwhelmed. They are using mortuary employees to help them out with their duties to come out, collect the body. It is a very, very difficult process. There's no electricity here, so they're taking these bodies and putting them in these white vans. I hate the way they portray us in the media. We see a black family that says they're looting. We see a white family that says they're looking for food. And you know it's been five days because most of the people are black and even for me to complain about, I would be a hypocrite because I've tried to turn away from the teacher TV because it's too hard to watch. We already realized a lot of the people that could help are at war right now, fighting another way, and they, they, they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. George Bush doesn't care about black people. But all very, very for real. Things that people never thought or even dreamt of. It's happened here in this United States. We need your help, ladies and gentlemen. Those of us in the United States have always sent money overseas to help whenever sites similar to this have happened. And now we ask you, and we ask you, and we beg of you, please, we need your money now. And wonderful organizations like the Red Cross as y'all can see, I got my Red Cross shirt on, so I'm doing my volunteering. Yeah, and we got all these wonderful people that's volunteering too. So we're gonna go over to the other shelter. We're gonna bring off the food. So hopefully the victims who had nothing to eat can eat. Show them some love, show them some mercy. Y'all know how we do it. All day with the boy. Let's keep going, guys. Getting this loaded up and ready to go. Okay. Man, I'm rolling, y'all. I'm rolling. Sun's out. Man, I'm about to go to uh, Data Point. Y'all be making these moves, y'all. Too much work, y'all. Hey, I'm jamming this print. Y'all, come on. Let's do it. Come on. I'll be putting in so much work. I'm on my way to my Aunt Teresa's house. See, this is how I always remember how to get there from this gas station. So yeah, man, we ain't getting a point. We're gonna try to do it big. Let's go. Hi, Grandmother. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Sewing. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. What are you doing yourself? You just got back, huh? I just got here. Doing okay? Well, well, so so. I what? got a flat tire on my way here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What did you do now? I had to you poop. put them on a new one. A the way you you tire. Tires? It's a tragedy, like casualties. How you people won't just let me be. Yeah, y'all know me from being me. But when it's time to go, I'll be invisible, like vanishing. So quick, get a peek, cause I'm back again. I'm back to baffling. I'm back in the flesh, this Italian and half African. How are you guys doing? Hey, yeah. we're doing really good. Yeah. Having a fun time. All right. I'll see you guys. Peace out. Peace. That was dramatical. All right, let's roll. Y'all, it is another sunny day out here in Dana Point. We just maxed and relaxing. Y'all see I got my, my toesy woesies in there. That means I'm cooling. Got the hair out, so y'all know what time that is. We chilling, the sun's in the air. Got some coca mama, Bahama mamas out here. Trying to peep them out. I'm gonna check out my family down here. Y'all know how we do. Yeah. We got Aunt Anna right over here. Oh, that was nice. 
Oh, there's mommy dearest. Afraid to get wet. the water, Grandma. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Yeah, that's what I don't like. Because uh, I'm gonna start dying at the ocean. Oh, when? When I was young. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was so dumb, really not the top the biggest toe, you know? Yeah. It's my cousin, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin man, you know, he was about five, six people. If he was in the top, he was like in the top, yeah, then he was down there. Let me tell I was so dumb and this big, um, big stone all the time, the wave up on the top of me. Oh Ooh, no. You drowned? No, my cousin. The back. He saved you? He saved me, yeah. The best time I don't like those. I don't know how sweet, I don't know nothing. I was about to let you go to the stone. Okay. How long have you been in business? We're 29 years as my own boss, as my own business. Now that's what I call CEO. Let's take a tour of the office. Back here, this is where the decisions are made. And y'all, this is my favorite uncle. I'm here doing some work with his son, Tony. He's doing my website. This is my work desk. And it this is my fabulous. computer, which uh, hasn't worked quite right since Tony started living upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Uh, and who's this wonderful lady you have a picture of over here? Oh, the lady peeking out above the animals here. This is the real boss. You look nice. Look at everyone looks so nice. Tony looks great. I'm so happy to see you looking great, Tony. Hey, how beautiful you really look. Tony, feel what you said. When you say, you're not a, um, you're not a director, you remember saying that to me? <laughs> I mean, you did it because I have one film, and I hate it. I don't remember that. What, did I say that? You did. Hi, hey, everybody. Hi, hey, Grandma. I want to say, well, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uncle Gibby, my family, Tony, and my aunt, and my, my mama. We're at a beautiful Italian restaurant. You've been working hard? Working hard. All right, all right. How's everything going? Good. Tony looks good, huh? That's great. I took a uh, shower for once again. Once again, you got the fam bam all back together, the Fasinis, and uh, that's how we do it, California. What can I say? Bling bling. Hey. Bling. Cheers, everybody. Salute. Cheers. Oh, that is wild. Salute. All right. Clink, clink, clink. Bye, Mom. Bye, Uncle Kitty, Aunt Teresa, Anna, Joey, Tony, Grandma, Fasini. Oh, we'll get it. I need you to make more money. Bye, everybody. Put on a button up your shirt. That's a sexy look. Put on a button up your shirt.